wonderful people, it's Wild here. Today I'll be showing you 22 cottage core or fairy core style decorations. First I'll show you 11 interior decorations and then I'll show you 11 exterior decorations. You can customize these tips and tricks to really elevate your builds. So let's get into it. Just a heads up, I'm using a Vanilla Tweaks texture pack in this video to create a fuller look to the leaves. For a tutorial on how to download this customizable texture pack, check out the link in the description. For this bookshelf, you'll need the following materials. Two barrels, four bookshelves, ten spruce trapdoors, two oak trapdoors, two spruce signs, two item frames, three white candles, a flower pot, a mushroom, and a flint and steel to light the candles. If you're limited for space, you can leave out these bookshelves and it is still of an appealing shelf design. For this living room setting, you'll need two spruce stairs and four spruce trapdoors, two jungle stairs and four jungle trapdoors, two jungle slabs, four shroom lights, four banners of your colour choice, I'm using pink, blue and purple, a pot with flowering azalea, three white candles and a flint and steel. I'm digging down to place in some shroom lights below where my seating is going, as this will illuminate the banners so you can see their colour. Of course, you can customize the colors of wood used to suit your build. To create this traditional grandfather clock, you'll need three barrels, two spruce slabs, six spruce trapdoors, an item frame, a clock, and a lightning rod. I'm replacing the blocks behind the grandfather clock with the barrels and using one for the clock face. For some hanging flowers, You'll need two spruce trap doors, four chains, and two flowering azaleas. Start by placing in the azaleas at the height you would like them. Build up with some chains. And finish with trap doors. For this pretty vanity, we'll start by creating some banners with three white banners, six blue dye, and six brown dye. To create them, create a diagonal slash across all three banners, and then a blue fade from bottom to top. Then layer up two brown borders to create a nice bold line. 
You'll also need two looms, nine jungle planks, two jungle slabs, six jungle trapdoors, four jungle signs, a large amethyst bud and an amethyst cluster, two flower pots, one lily of the valley and a mushroom, a spruce sign and a daylight detector. Face the looms towards the back so you get this texture here facing forward. To create some doors, use some signs and I'm using lines as well as some square brackets to create handles. You might need to mess around a little bit with the spacing to create these signs. If you're building this in creative, here's a quick tip. Grab a free slot and hold down control and press middle click on the sign. This will copy the sign and the text so you can place it in the next location. For this cozy bed, you'll need two jungle planks, two jungle stairs, four jungle signs and four jungle trapdoors, and two pink beds. You can customise the wood colours here as well as the bed colours to fit your colour scheme. To create this wardrobe with lots of storage, you'll need six barrels, two spruce stairs, six spruce trapdoors, two jungle doors, and two jungle signs. Placing some barrels on your walls will give you lots of storage. You may have to break and replace the doors so the handles both face inwards. I'm using signs to create the handles on the cupboards at the bottom. And you may have to play around a bit with the spacing to get the look just right. I want to mirror this cupboard door on the next side, so I'll just create the sign in the opposite direction. For this pretty flower pot arrangement, you'll need two scaffolding, two composters, three flowering azalea leaves and two regular azalea leaves, five flower plots, and then five flowers. I'm using a pink tulip, a lily of the valley, an oxide daisy, a blue orchid, and an allium. Start by placing in your largest pots and using some azalea leaves to create some tall flowers. Scaffolding adds some height and then place in your pots.
For this storage shelf design, you'll need two barrels, four jungle planks, six spruce trapdoors, two campfires and an iron shovel to put them out, two spruce signs, two item frames, two jungle trapdoors, a lantern, a pot, a flower, and then eight items of raw foodstuffs. So I've got some potatoes, fish and meat. You can put out campfires using your shovel and then you can place the food stuff on the campfires. You can leave the shelf with this wall backing if you'd like. But I think it really finishes off the look to have a different block behind your shelf and I'm using jungle planks. For this amethyst chandelier, you'll need one chain, one flowering azalea leaf, a block of amethyst, four spruce fences, 16 white candles and an amethyst cluster. Keep in mind you'll need a bit of room for the amethyst chandelier to hang. Don't forget to grab a flint and steel to light your chandelier. For this flower chandelier, you'll need one chain, two flowering azalea leaves, one shroom light, four jungle trapdoors, eight glow frames, and four flowers of your choice. I'm using sunflowers as their bright color really shines through. You could also use a mixture of flowers in the chandelier, that would look really pretty as well. So now you know some fabulous ways to decorate the inside of your build, let's move on to some ways to decorate the outside. For these flower planters, you'll need 6 pods all, 16 spruce trapdoors, 3 composters, 6 birch leaves, and then 6 flowers or ferns of your choice. I'm using red, blue and white flowers and a fern. To create these hanging tree lights, you'll need a stripped dark oak log, three dark oak fences, five flowering azalea leaves and nine azalea leaves, three chains, two lanterns, an azalea bush, a moss block, and then a bunch of flowers of your choice. I'm using purples, whites, yellows and blues here, as well as a fern. We'll start by creating the tree.
Then we'll hang some lanterns. And then surround with some greenery. This cute wagon uses two spruce logs, three spruce stairs and four spruce slabs, 12 spruce trapdoors, six spruce signs, four spruce fence gates, two spruce fences and two dark oak buttons. Use a placeholder block to place your logs on the side with a slab between them and trapdoors on top. Once again using a placeholder block, place in three spruce uh, stairs at the back of the wagon and then three spruce slabs at the front and decorate with some trapdoors. Some spruce signs next. Some handles on the wagon and some buttons. For this lush green lighting, you'll need five oak logs, one spruce fence, five azalea leaves, 18 vines, and three lanterns. You can expand this to suit your size of build. Starting by placing in my taller oak log lanterns, with the azalea leaves around them. And I have my one on a fence at the front. Vines really add to the lush look. hanging planter light, you'll need 12 spruce trapdoors, 9 podzol, a barrel, 3 mossy stone brick walls, 2 mossy stone brick stairs and a mossy stone brick slab, 1 chain, 1 lantern and then 8 greenery, ferns or mushrooms. You'll need to use a placeholder block to place in the second stair. Then surround with your greenery. For this cute mushroom lighting, you'll need 13 podzol, a sandstone wall, a birch fence, a shrub light, 6 red mushroom blocks, 6 red mushrooms, 2 cornflowers and 3 blue orchids. And of course you can expand this to fit your space. Starting by placing in some podzol for the ground. I have one large mushroom and then a smaller one and then I'm surrounding by my tiny red mushrooms. At night, the shroom light in this larger mushroom will let off a nice warm glow. To 
create this swing, you'll need 11 gravel, 8 spruce fences, 3 spruce slabs, 6 chains, 6 spruce trapdoors, rooted dirt, 7 oak leaves, and then some greenery. I'm using yellows, whites, and greens for this build. We'll start with the gravel as this adds a nice backing for the swing. Posts for the swing are 4 high. And I'm leaving a gap here for some oak leaves. Then I'll hang my swing. And add some more greenery. To create this mushroom well, you'll need the following. Two mossy stone bricks, four mossy stone brick walls, two mossy stone brick stairs, a spruce plank, sp four spruce slabs, seven spruce trapdoors, and two spruce fences. You'll also need a cauldron, a bucket of water, and two chains. For some decorations, you'll need 23 podzol, two birch fences, two red mushroom blocks, four red mushrooms, three blue orchids, and four corn flowers. We'll start on the well itself. Now that we've got the well, we'll go in with some pods all so we can place in some mushrooms. With the pods all in, we'll create two larger mushrooms with a birch fence and a red mushroom block. Add in the four mushrooms. And finish off with the flowers. This flowery archway which creates a nice entry into any area uses 9 flowering azalea leaves, 11 azalea leaves, 4 spruce fences, 4 lanterns, 21 vines and then some flowers. I'm using whites, blues and pinks here. Start by creating your basic archway shape. Then we'll add some more leaves to fluff it up at the bottom. Once you're happy with the shape, add in your jungle fences with some lanterns and then place in some vines to add to the lush look.
Let the one at the back here grow down so it hangs below the archway. Then you can go in with your flowers to add an extra pop of colour. For this fountain, you'll need 4 clay, 4 mossy stone bricks, 8 mossy stone brick stairs, 4 chiseled stone bricks, 3 mossy stone brick walls, a shroom light, and some water. You'll also need some flowers, I'm using pink, purple, and blue ones here. And you'll also need 2 big drip leaves, a small drip leaf, and a lily pad. Start by creating the outline for the fountain. Use the clay and mossy stone bricks for the floor. Placing a shroom light in the centre. When placing your water, start with the top wall and place one on top. And then go in and waterlog the two other walls. I'm also placing a water in each corner. Then, you can grab your greenery to surround the fountain. Starting with the lily pad and the drip leaves in the fountain. To create this flower stall, you'll need 12 jungle fences, 9 jungle fence gates, 20 campfires, and we'll be breaking a few of these but it helps to start with 20, and a shovel for the campfires, 2 jungle stairs, 3 jungle slabs, 10 scaffolding, 13 jungle trapdoors, and 2 lanterns. You'll also need 8 pots and 8 flowers of your choice, as well as 11 azalea leaves and 9 flowering azalea leaves. We'll start with the stall itself, building three high with fences in each corner. These are spaced five and two apart. Now for the campfires. You can put these out with the shovel. Next we'll create the stand for the flowers. and place in two lanterns. Now we can add in the flowers themselves. When doing this, try and distribute the colors. To 
finish it off, grab your azalea leaves and we'll add some greenery, breaking some of these campfires. So now you have some fantastic ways to decorate your fairy core or cottage core build. I would really appreciate if you could hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this one. And if you'd like to support me more, check out my Patreon in the description down below where you can play with me on a server and get exclusive build designs and ideas. See you in another video!